These boxes cradle a sequel half a century in the making. Ghost Set a Watchman is Harper Lee's first published novel since To Kill a Mockingbird became an instant classic 55 years ago. It's going to be huge. I can't go into too many numbers with you, but it is up there. The reclusive Harper Lee actually wrote Ghost Set a Watchman before she struck gold with To Kill a Mockingbird. The manuscript remained forgotten until it was recently discovered by her lawyer, prompting some to believe that Lee never wanted the novel published in the first place. But this documentary filmmaker, who recently made a film about Lee, doesn't believe that. Everyone says unequivocally that Harper Lee is delighted to be publishing this early work uh, and that Harper Lee doesn't do anything that she doesn't want to. In the new book, which picks up 20 years after the events of To Kill a Mockingbird, readers will still find one of the main characters, Scout Finch, a fighter for racial equality. But it seems that her father, Atticus Finch, is a more complicated character than we had believed. I was shocked. You know, I love I loved Atticus Finch. Again, he was a little too saintly for my liking, but still I loved him in To Kill a Mockingbird. So who wants to see a, a figure that you revere turn into an out-and-out -out racist? But Bara Malfati doubts even Atticus's racism will take away from the new book's importance or popularity. And if he turns out to be a racist, so be it. It's the story uh, that she's written, and it's a fiction, and fiction pushes the envelope. That's the job of the author. And if she's managed to do that, good. Pushing the envelope and major pre-sales with a lost gem by a literary master who has proven herself capable of stirring up both hype and controversy at 89. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.